Hi everybody, it's Nikki with Revive Jewelry and I'm here today to talk to you about packing your jewelry. It's summertime and everybody's taking vacations, so I thought that I would just jump on here today and give you guys some tips about bringing your jewelry with you because it can be tricky. So I have a few different ways that I like to pack my jewelry. Um, first, I wanna talk about the easiest way to pack your jewelry. Uh, everybody has Ziploc bags and you can easily pack your jewelry with Ziploc bags. So I like to reuse some, like these are little bags that I get from, you know, extra buttons or the, you know, the stuff that comes with your husband's shirts and things like that, all that extra good stuff. Uh, I take the bag and reuse it to pack some of my earrings. So if you have, you know, like little tiny earrings, maybe pearl studs, or I like to bring my uh, cause studs with me everywhere I go so I can always show my support even when I'm on my vacation. So I just drop them in and then close the top just to make sure that they stay secure and I don't lose them. And then you can put them uh, with the rest of your stuff. So uh, if you have some earrings, maybe you have some dangly ones like this and you don't want them to get tangled up in your suitcase, I have a great trick for that. You can actually just slide them in the bag and then kind of close the bag on the ear wire. So it keeps them straight. And then you just put the other one in the other side in the same way. And it's a little tricky to get them in there, but once you get them in, they'll be secure. And you don't have to worry about them getting all tangled up. It's a nifty little trick. And then for necklaces, I use that same trick. So if you wanna bring some dainty little chains and you don't wanna just throw them in your bag, you can do the same trick. You can just lock them in, put the chain through the top and zip them up just like that. So you have the clasp hanging out at the top and then the rest of your necklace is in the bottom. This, will, this is guaranteed to keep this from tangling in your suitcase. I also want to talk about how to do a beaded necklace. So um, not very much of my line is beaded, but I know that a lot of you like to wear beaded jewelry. And you can gently fold it. Um, if you feel like it has tension, uh, you should probably keep it flat, in which case you can pack it in just a larger Ziploc and make sure it stays flat in your bag. Maybe that's a piece you don't want to take with you on your trip. Um, but if it folds nicely and you can feel like there's no tension in it, then you can just go ahead and put this one in its own little bag and just close it in there. And this chain trick that I showed you on this piece, this works for any length necklace. It doesn't have to just be short necklaces. Um, and it also works with layered necklaces. So you can do that with any of your pieces. And the last type of jewelry are bracelets and rings. So bracelets and rings, my bracelets are pretty tough, so I just put them all in one bag, and I actually throw my rings in there too, because these guys aren't gonna get beat up. Um, if you have a chain bracelet, uh, you can also just do the chain trick. So you would just take the clasp of the bracelet and slide it through the top of the bag, and that will keep that separate for you. Um, and even my wrap bracelets, you can just kind of throw them in because they're, they're super uh, tough, like they're very sturdy. So you can just throw them in there and put them with the rest of your stuff. And then what I like to do with this is I like to put this into one larger bag so that it all stays in one place and you can put it in your suitcase. Um, I like to carry on my jewelry. I never check my jewelry because who knows what's gonna happen and I would be devastated if I lost my jewelry. So I like to put it in my check bag, but you're free to put it wherever you like. Um, but this should keep it safe and not tangled and looking good when you get to your trip and then when you get back too. Um, the last way that I like to, sh to mention to you guys is a travel jewelry case. Um, this case is from Amazon and you can get it pretty cheap and I love it. I swear by it. I bring it on every trip I go on. So it's pretty cool. It's got all sorts of different compartments for your different types of jewelry. So here you have kind of a zipper bag where you can stick in some um, bracelets. So I like to put my bracelets in there, or you can put any extras that you have. Maybe your husband needs to bring cufflinks and you can wanna put them in here for him. You can stick them in this little pocket. 
Um, this is for your earrings. So they all like unhook and you can stick your earrings in here. Um, I'll actually show you with these pair right here. So you just take the backing off and stick them on and then they'll stay put. And I've done this a bunch of times and I didn't believe the first time I did it, I didn't believe they were actually gonna stay on there and they did. So it works and they stay nice and flat. Um, but you might be asking, what about these? What about these dangly ones? Well, I leave them in their bag and then I use the nifty pockets here and I just slide them in. So you know they're not gonna get tangled and they're gonna stay safe and now they're even extra protected because they're in a pocket in a leather case. And then these are for rings, so you just open this up and slide your ring on and pop it back in. And then this pocket over here, my favorite pocket is for necklaces. So all of these open up and you can put your necklaces in and you can do this with short necklaces or long necklaces. And you can do the long necklaces in one of two ways. So you can either put it in long or you can fold it over in half and put it on that way. It's just personal preference, um, depending on the style of the necklace. And then I just sort of tuck in the extra chain and pendant into this little pocket here at the bottom and zip it back up to protect everything and they should stay tarnish free and completely safe on your trip. So then looks like a little pocketbook and you throw it in your carry on and you're ready to go. So I hope you guys have enjoyed these tips today and if you have any questions or comments let me know below and I will see you soon.